Hey guys, it's Paul here at Go Power Sports. Today we are going to show you how to install the header support. Our kit comes with this T bar. <coughs> nice, nice, very nice. You're killing it. Our kit comes with the support and it comes with a hose clamp to connect it to your exhaust pipe. First, we're going to install the header pipe. All right, now that the exhaust pipe is securely mounted, I use, I like to use a six mil by 16 length. On this header, I do, I mount it from the inside. So I will go ahead and screw this in here. I just go ahead and snug it up just a little bit to see how well it fits. All right, now we're gonna install the clamp. If you notice here, there's a big gap here and that can't be there when we do the final assembly. This adds a lot of tension to the pipe and it will cause the pipe to break after it gets hot a few times. So we're gonna take this off and we're going to take this back off and we need to bend this over about one inch. So we'll go ahead and remove it again. And this bends pretty easily. You don't need any special tools. I just use my hands. Go ahead and bolt it right back up. Now if you notice, there is no more, there's no more gap here. I like to install the hose clamp on the bottom part of the T-bar in case this bolt comes out. This will catch it from coming off completely. Once the hose clamp gets snug, go ahead and give it just about another one full rotation. And then I like to do one final step. I take this bolt back out. and make sure that it doesn't move. If it moves, then there's tension on it. I'll then put a little bit of blue Loctite on this bolt. Snug it up and it's ready to go. These header braces can be used on almost all the pipes that we sell. Sometimes you have to mount them here on the bottom for this bolt here and sometimes you may have to mount it to a chain guard if you have it here on the side depending on where the pipe bends at. You want to mount this support as close to the end as possible so it holds the most weight especially if you have the muffler on the end. As long as it's past the main bend of the header pipe you won't have any issues.